Amigos, welcome back. You guys saw how tall this grass is. Man, this is a pretty crazy cleanup, but it's early in spring, you know, so it's fairly easy to get these things weed whacked down and mowed. You know, we go ahead and mow AA. You'll see Paola here mowing them. It's pretty fast. She goes ahead and mows in the cycle. You know, we start at AA, then we go 5 5. She goes through 3 2. I'll do 1 1. Everybody mows, you know, so everybody weed whacks and everybody picks up. That's how me and Paola get these cleanups done. You know, we love doing cleanups after us doing so many years of lawn care now we understand that if we hit it hard during this cleanup sessions we'll make enough money you guys can tell in these areas here the areas that don't have as much grass as the areas they usually walked on you can tell that i was able to hedge these bushes you saw at the beginning they were not too crazy you know they usually aren't too crazy because the house is facing north and all the sun almost never hits it you know so the sun don't hit too much the hedging won't grow same thing right there in the corner you could tell the rose bush struggles to grow simply because the sun doesn't hit this is why i understand and now areas the sun affects you know in california there's so much sun you can see right here areas with shades the weeds aren't so big and areas where the sun spray hits it just continues to grow it could be winter you could tell right here all these rocks it doesn't grow so much you know if if it doesn't rain as much or if it doesn't get hit by sun it doesn't grow you could tell the little small piles i had of weeds that i pulled so i guess there was plenty there you know we're going to be able to see here your turf you already mowed it we weren't able to show you the beginning because i forget sometimes i'm too fast i just want to get done you know you guys don't understand that the faster we finish the jobs the more money we'll make you know yeah we can sit here and do eight hours and do a semi-okay job but we're not gonna make the same money so me and paola have done this these jobs over like five years that we became so good at it you can't even tell what's underneath here but you will when we get to the end you know so i lightly weed whack i tell everybody all the time if you break a window there goes your profit you know this job's not priced enough to get a window broken we won't even make enough money you know we're lucky that we know we have insurance so if we break a window yeah there goes our deductible but guess what fellas that's part of business you know i haven't broken a window but if i do it's okay you know it'll be my time and here you're gonna just see me weed back thanks guys Amigos, welcome back. So there you have it. This is the final run. We're just going to show you how we did. We did great. We weed sprayed areas. We weed sprayed double just to make sure. I put it upon myself to make sure I sprayed an extra gallon just so that when we come back, all this crazy weeds are gone. You know, we tried our best. All the cracks were cleaned. There was weeds everywhere. We made sure we pulled the biggest ones. We made sure we weed whacked twice 
sometimes three times. You guys just know that instead of us mowing once or twice, we actually weed whack all the way to floor level. So that requires mowing it at three levels and that requires weed whacking it at three different levels. It requires to be very gentle with the weed whacker when you're coming right here. You can't go trigger happy fellas, you know, because you will break a window. You know, you can't be going Call of Duty with these lawns because you will, you know, lose your profit. So there you go. You guys can tell that this lawn had a bunch of stumps, you know, and they have a lot of work here. So we went ahead and sprayed double. And bam, you guys remember our Ultimate 2020 lawn care setup. It's still holding out, guys. I made minor adjustments. And boom, we had to cut a foot off in the back and we had to make a new... Um, pin hitch a hole for it so it worked out great you guys can go and look at that video i'll put a card there and you can tell that we weed whack these areas in the hyperlapse and it goes great we're going to go to stater brothers we did that in the morning too we also helped ron again we did one of his biggest houses which was an awesome house and now we're going to see staters we're still seeing trash everywhere you can tell there was a big problem with some kind of drainage and we get to clean those nasty stuff guys it, it looks like the power washing guys came out here and did something you know they cleaned up up. you guys wouldn't know but a long time ago we used to be the power washers here on a crazy deal and we used to have Avi Lapi with power washing we have a video of power washing you could probably hear the story there you guys are both welcome to see it maybe my second video but for now have enjoyed watching Stater Brothers it's still a mess out here thank you guys AUC Amigos